We know gas, diesel, even electric powered trucks, but could the trucks of the future be fueled by hydrogen? Well, teams at Southwest Research Institute are pioneering a hydrogen combustion engine. As Max Massey shows us, this breakthrough designed right here in San Antonio could change the shipping industry and help the environment. All right, let's head on in. Graham Conway is the manager of low carbon technologies. He's one of the leaders of what could be a paradigm shift for the trucking industry. And here's the prototype. What we're looking at here is a 15 liter heavy duty engine, um, but we've changed the fueling to hydrogen. So this is an engine that would normally run on natural gas, but we've retrofitted it. We've made some modifications along with some suppliers. So now this engine runs on hydrogen. If you're like me, you're probably wondering, how does this work? The hydrogen engine still has a spark plug, acts a lot like a gasoline engine, but it's the size of a diesel engine. So we're kind of marrying two worlds between a diesel engine and a gasoline engine to get the best efficiency with the lowest emissions. It's seemingly the best of both worlds and better for the environment. When this vehicle's on the road, it's gonna produce very, very little greenhouse gas emissions and almost no nitrous oxide emissions. It's gonna meet all of today's current regulations. You may have heard of the idea of electric 18 wheelers, but the issue with that is the weight and the size of the battery and what that could mean for us as consumers. If you're not carrying as much stuff and it's more expensive to carry the things you are, which means now shipping costs are higher, which means everything you're buying is gonna be extensively more expensive. Researchers here, they look at this hydrogen combustion engine as an alternative that we could actually see sooner than later. But we hope within the next few years, you'd start to see these on the road as a viable solution. Right now, California does have refueling stations, but for these engines to be more widespread, more feasible for long distance travel, more infrastructure would clearly be needed. So one of the challenges is where do we get the fuel to recharge these? Max Massey, KSAT 12 News. Hello, everybody. Stefania Jimenez here. Thank you so much for watching KSAT's YouTube channel. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.